Festo Christi Natalicio, Walde Delectati Sunt. When I first heard it, I didn't know what it was. Nomine Grincus. The Grinch. But the reading was done so well. Every who down in Whoville, the tall and the small. I had children of my own, and they, they loved the Grinch. And it's it's fun, and there's a there's a good sense of rhythm which you can play with when you're when you're reciting it. The English book came out uh, in the 50s, I think. It's just the Latin translation came out in the in 1999. And when the book came out, we immediately decided to do a reading of it bilingually. It's pretty crowded. It's, it's, it, it's amazing. You, you wouldn't think. So lots of people come. And I mean, it's been going on for so long. It's now becomes a thing to do. Did you know that old Grinch was so smart and so slick? He thought up a lie, and he thought it up quick. We read the whole thing, and we, and we, we take breaks. Each of us reads about a third at a time. Um, English starts, then Latin. The Latin is a lot longer than the English, <laughs> but it's also very mellifluous, and so people like the sound of it. And some people actually understand some of it. I was actually really happy. I understood a lot of it. Growing up, you hear it in English all the time, and so you're used to hearing it spoken over and over again, and then to get it in Latin, it's a different experience. But there are definitely some parts where I was like, pretty sure that's not a direct translation, because I mean, how do you translate who's into Latin? It's interesting how he handles the who's, you know, so you can't do that really in Latin, so he calls them the Laetuli, the little happy people. Laetulis lamentaturis auris. Latin has been taught differently from other languages, and people think of it as boring and hard and dead, and you can't do anything with it. Well, if you can speak it, then you actually can do something with it. It's very interesting to know that at some point, this is the way people spoke. Well, in Whoville, they say that the Grinch's small heart grew three sizes that day. But it's ideal because the students are just finishing their semester. They're haggard and tired and they have lots to do, and it's a nice break for them, and it's a little bit of a reminder of when they were a lot younger, a little bit of a reminder of home. I think it was a really good way to jumpstart the Christmas season. It was really fun to hear the story.